Good morning. Today I am going to conduct an experiment to identify acids, bases and neutral. This is a strip of pH paper. When this comes in a contact with an acid, it turns reddish in color. When this comes in a contact on a base, it turns greenish in color. While if this comes in contact with a neutral, it will turn re yellow in color and retain its color. So this is citric acid and this is baking soda so this is an acid and this is a base i have taken small portions of citric acid and baking soda now i'm going to make solutions and when you mix an acid and a base you get a neutral so i'm going to make a neutral an acid solution and a base So I pour citric acid here and some baking soda and now I am going to mix citric acid and baking soda. So I have some citric acid left. So this is citric acid. Okay now I have prepared solution and now I have done everything so this is citric acid now i'm going to prepare a solution so now i'm going to prepare a solution three drops one two three and then I'm going to mix it well. Again, some more water. You have to stir it well so that it becomes a solution. Now, baking soda. It's a neutral solution. Notice that it fizzes because uh, combination of acid and a base, the citric acid and combination of a base produces carbon dioxide, so it fizzes. So now I made uh, combination. Now I'm going to mix match and then I am not, I don't know which is which. So let's identify. So now I'm going to dip. So notice the color, it becomes greenish. So this is a base. So I can show you it to you once more. So I'm going to dip and then notice the color change. It becomes greenish in color. So we know that this is baking soda. Now I'm going to pour into this. So I'm going to do it. Notice that this doesn't even change its color and it's yellow. So this is a neutral. I can show it to you once more. So this is neutral. So now I'm going to show you the solution. Notice that it turns red in color. Indicates that this is an acid. So this turns red in color, indicating that this is an acid. So this is baking soda and when the pH paper comes in contact, it turns green. And it, when pH paper comes in contact with this, it turns yellow and it turns red when it comes in contact. So that's the end of our experiment. We can conclude that using the litmus paper or the pH paper, we can identify the difference between acids, neutrals and a base if we don't know which is which. So, thank you.